Right, who's new to the radio live this year? Good. We like a little bit of crowd interaction on this recording, so... Hang on, two or three people didn't put their hand up. <laughs> huh? Didn't you say, who's coming to Lug Radio Live this year? No, who's new, you dick. Oh, right. Well, there's three guys that didn't put their fucking hand up. I thought, what? Have you been drinking? So right, okay. having water. <laughs> I'm drunk any beer, I'd fall asleep. So, yeah, feel free to make as much noise in this recording. So, uh, I'm just going to cue things up. Ready, guys? Yeah, go on then. Ready? Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. 
Has you attended anything on before? Lack of decent games. Lack, Lack of decent games. games, yeah. Hell yeah. What kind of games? Well, the games that you play on your PS2 or PS3. Not fucking 2D tiddlywinks, as you mentioned. <laughs> Tiddlywinks. I thought I All Right Solitaire was right up there with the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I know like, you talked about this a while back, and one, I think one section of games you missed out was uh, sports simulators. Uh, sports? Sports simulators. Football yes. management simulators, sports simulators. Tough t- t- races, not sports simulators. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking NBA basketball, Ted. Because, um, you know, you, you could do sports, but looking at the people in this room, it's more fun to sit on the sofa and play. <laughs> Yeah, hot kettle. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the room. What more do you want? <laughs> but I mean, I don't play games. So I mean, are there lots of you out there who play games on uh, Windows machines or Playstations or whatever? I would have thought you've got some kind of games console. Are the people here who play games? <laughs> no, they're just really good. <laughs> Gave a shit about free software, but <laughs> <laughs> says he works in Windows every day. Where's the GP2X guy? But I mean, there's there's lots and lots of people who play games. But would you actually genuinely really buy games on Windows on Linux? Yes. 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 Have you, if have they you weren't shit. Sneaker. Sneaker. Shit. I mean, surely it's the same thing. It's bollocks. It's bollocks. <laughs> Why is it bollocks, Mr. Video Cameraman? It's bollocks because whenever, even the officially supported games. Hang on. Hang on, give me Speaking a mic. To the, uh, Hello. Hello. There we go. Even the officially supported games are like. They've got all these weird little notes that say something like, actually, they only run if you turn off all the pixel shaders, if you've got them on the lowest. And it's like, these are the officially supported ones, not the sort of hacked together community supported ones that might work if you're lucky. Oh, well, hang on, you have to bear with me here. I was in Carl Latimer's talk earlier uh, about white doors. He said, yeah, World of Warcraft, it's perfectly supported under white knife, and I assume that was then the problem solved. <laughs> I take it, it isn't then. Some of us have, like, other addictions other than World of Warcraft? I don't know, I only read about World of Warcraft in the news of the world, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm sure I mentioned this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure really anyone really gives a fuck, but I managed to get a uh, Football Manager 2007 ring under Boy and Lost Deep. Right. Wolves have only got £100,000 fucking spending budget, and I get bored after the first two weeks. <laughs> Did you mention introversion, or winners they didn't bother coming, should we not mention them? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's. Uh, they're, yeah. They're, they're games for Linux, what's wrong with that? Well, what's that happening? Something's <laughs> happening with Death Con. Should probably get someone else to do that. Buy a PlayStation 3. Fuck Full off. of games playing problems are solved. If you hate freedom, buy a PlayStation 3. <laughs> <laughs> Which proprietary VoIP technology have you been using this week, then, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> silence from the end of the table. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a quick week. Okay, I mean, why is that not the answer? Why not just say, I'll buy a games console? Uh, Next! <laughs> Let the man answer your question. We should have every time kind of other app on Linux desktop games. Oh yeah, there's the like games, but no free games. Stop playing the real games. Man. Ah, that's not the same thing. You never mentioned free games. Well, if yeah. you're going to even provide your software, I don't give a shit what platform you use it on. <laughs> you know, and if you get so, if you're talking about having free software games on the Linux desktop, then cool, that's a good idea. But you won't. You, you didn't see me talking about. You're talking about taking no, no, the games that we've got on the Mac. Yeah. When you asked what was fucked up, I said, "Yeah, no free games on the Linux desktop." Oh, you said free? Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe I didn't. This is. <laughs> I think maybe you didn't. Plus, we have a recording. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the great life of an old folks. So I can't really remember. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> I go back to staring with mine. <laughs> okay, next up thing. Pope What's food? Poppy. Elvis impersonator. Elvis. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's not our fault, but support for Visio and Microsoft Publisher and Microsoft Project type files that you just have to share with people I agree. in the office. Yeah. You're yeah. fucked. Yeah. You just can't. It is. It is. I often need to use word art, and uh, <laughs> Publisher is my solution. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're not happy with the multicolored fucking donuts you get with the uh, open office top of <laughs> Doctor surgeries are a perfect place for inspired word art. <laughs> Fantastic. So any word with like a thing like that, it's great. Bring it on. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, what else is true? That's just what you need. You want to say anything else? You know, chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I'm not even going to ask them this question. 
Um, okay, on the subject of chlamydia, what else is food? Thanks, <laughs> Willem. <laughs> Sinking with any PDA except Palm Pilot 3. What? Sinking any PDA Damn it. except Palm Pilot 3 with your desktop. Sinking well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know about this, you see, because nobody will give me a fucking Nokia N800. <laughs> I'm going to have to step back from Mike for a second. You're not harming the fucking NA hundred. Awesome. Um, there was a couple of people down here. Trio. You two. Uh, oh, hang on, it's a good point. I mean, the smartphone someone mentioned as well. Who's got a smartphone? Suppose. I have a slightly dumb phone. I can, <laughs> that. I mean, I can copy files on and off, and I can sync my phone book and whatever calendar and so on. But I don't very often. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, my stuff synchronises. You've turned synchronisation into your life's work, though. I mean, you ring me up and tell me your fascinating and long stories about sync and melt. I don't want to disappoint you here, but I only tell you those stories when you say, oh, I've lost my phone, and now everyone has to send me their phone numbers. After the fourth fucking time. As far as I can tell, John has synchronisation plans to make sure he loses a phone in every airport in the world. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Mr. Welcome to the radio. <laughs> You're a fine fucking one to talk. <laughs> right. Moving on. Next food thing. These two people are in the white stripes at the front. Are they in the white stripes? No. Are they in the white stripes? <laughs> Hello? Hello. 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 Right. Um, LibXML with Jesus feed burner RSS feeds. I was about yeah, to say. Nice. What? what? That pisses me off so much. <laughs> And the reason I know it's food is because you wrote it down over there. <laughs> and I read that and thought, okay, I'm quite prepared to believe that's broken. Next food thing. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, before you speak. Yeah. Where's the picture? Have you guys seen his picture of the chinny raccoon? It's wet still. Oh, you cock it. Who, who would like to be on this? Meanwhile, behind us. Oh yes. We're going to auction this. Oh, who would like to own this? Fucking heaven for sale. Oh, <laughs> see? Leech and Rebel. Everyone else is like, yeah, we thought it was cool. We clap now. Shut up and go on the next thing. <laughs> Excellent. It's yeah. very good. Um, yeah, sorry. You were going to say Well, um, for me, the major fucked thing was chinned up the great area. <laughs> quite a few years now, it's voice recognition software, or speech recognition software. My dad, he can't move to limits because of this, and it's a big thing, you know, for me. There is stuff being done, but this is nothing, as far as I'm concerned, that easily can be set up, and it's at all comparable to what you can have on Windows or Macintosh, so it's a big thing that's majorly done. Well, I mean, do you not think that downloading Sphinx and then compiling it and then saying, I've got own speaker corpus is a reasonable thing to do? <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's he saying? Yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it is a valid point. <laughs> what you said. <laughs> no, he said that you know it's obviously very old software, <coughs> and that is a valid point. I mean, because I remember a lot of stuff about um, IBM stuff. Five yeah. voice for Linux. And and. I never get any of it working, not that I really need it. No, I, I don't get turned on by a robot voice telling me what to click on. <laughs> that's not speech recognition. <laughs> <laughs> it is in my house. In my house, not out. Houses. Oh, the problem is, as far as you're concerned, speech recognition is you speak with me in the grip, give me a bit up. That was speech. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Paul. Yeah, someone got a microphone. Hello. Oh, Hello. Someone's got a mic. Yeah. Uh, I reckon memory is speech recognition. Okay, I can't see it. Sorry, what was that? What memory usage? Memory usage? Yeah, yeah. It's too much. Buy more RAM, dude. It's just cached. Yeah, I don't know. Don't we bollock Microsoft for um, high system requirements? You can't just say buy more RAM. I don't bollock Microsoft.
so for it. Every time I every time I can be a slow, I put another gig by rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Easy solution. I mean, uh, it has crept up in the last few years. Yeah, it's exactly. not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't know, I've got a shit old laptop, he's got, well, he's got 128 megs of RAM. And that's a hell of a lot of memory, you know, considering. <laughs> Compared to what? It's a new millennium, dude. 128 megs of RAM is no RAM. Like, oh, yeah, it's while cool. you were asleep, we ended the 21st century. You might have a PC out of more than that. Stuff, you know, you can run all sorts of shit. It doesn't seem like we've had that much more stuff for the amount of RAM that's got this is like life on Mars, isn't it? Well, it's like back to 1998. 128 mega RAM, Jesus. Yeah, it's like, you know, and sometimes I juggle my machine and the 16k RAM pack falls out of the bag. <laughs> Should we have one more? Oh, uh, Mr. Marley, Mr. Marley. Mr. Marley. Marley, Ubuntu caps. No, actually, no, he's wearing a, a Kubuntu cap. Oh, he's oh. thieved another cap. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No, oh, really. <laughs> It's not going to happen, is it? I don't think that's going to happen. Mainly because it takes fucking 10 minutes to tell. <laughs> and the punchline's awful. It's telling, that's the thing. Yeah, we're not, I'm not telling the gorilla joke, my voice is not. <laughs> and I'm going to need to find a bushel sound effect when the punchline's so bad. <laughs> the reputation is so much better than the actual joke. So, <laughs> moving on as the Ogglebox joke. Moving swiftly on. Um, simple fact that a lot of packages that you just auto install. Um, don't include the rest of the packages that the program needs. What? Okay. What? 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 So, what? like on Stream Tuner, if you download Stream Tuner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you don't get um, XMMS installed by default. So, you've got nowhere to play the content that Stream Tuner gives you. That's an exception, though, really. That's just no, a lot of There's lots of little ones like that. That's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. isn't, isn't that just a bug? Presumably you filed it as a bug. Yeah, it's not a package along, along with some of the others that I come across. Surely that's user error. But it's still fucked. <laughs> Probably. Okay, fair play. It is fucked, so... Yeah, shall we um, move on? Yes, move on. Shall we move on? Okay. Right, what's next? Alan, are we going to do this in a comedy voice? Yes. No, I'm doing the comedy voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <coughs> This week I am mostly beat. Well, I also been wanting to say this for ages, so you've got fucking about six weeks of I am mostly beat. Uh, and I'm going to chin them down to one or two things. And really, it's just a couple of things I've actually wanted to pimp for fucking ages, except everybody else does it instead, so no one likes me. It's <laughs> um, uh, uh, no, true. I don't know what you don't, if you know what I do for a living. I'm a Linux sysadmin for a small e commerce company. Um, uh, and I've been wanting to pimp for ages is building mail servers. Sure, you're all fascinated by now, but I just wanted to pimp a project called VXM. Um, what VXM is, is a, it's a base configuration for XM, which makes it really easy to do multiple domains on one mail server uh, all tied together with a MySQL database at the back end. I can see my fellow, <laughs> my fellow presenters have fallen asleep already. Um, and you get a PHP interface to add your domains, add your Dude, what's wrong with Send Mail? fucking pig. And <laughs> just to be told, dude over there who's only got 128 mega RAM, why do you need to make your life hot? <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he could run Send Mail. <laughs> <laughs> just give it up, pal. <laughs> well, I mean, as I said, why it's like you... a holodeck of what email clients. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you want to do anything other than what the default Send Mail progression does, it's a pain in the arse, because we've all seen the send mail book, unless you're a send mail guru. I think Ron, perhaps, is the only one here that really digs send mail, or has done once. So I just wanted to do TXM anyway. But uh, I fuck knows what you are, either, so I have to Google it. Um, and there were two websites I wanted to pimp. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's his three minutes up. <laughs> Talk about something other than mail server. <laughs> right. My face is frozen. Dilly Dave. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so carry on, carry on about your exciting mail. It's got a really interesting story. Well, if you didn't find that one interesting, the rest really aren't going to make you get a story. I mean, the problem is we keep getting told you, you like to talk, we like to hear you talk more about server stuff and everything, but Adam just rambles on about it, we fall asleep. Not <laughs> uh, okay, so the thing about this, this VX thing, why do I care? Because you thought, I mean, the thing I like about VX is the base configuration makes it really easy to just plug in, uh, it already comes with spam filtering. Uh, plugs into spam assassin and virus filtering come up, which I don't know, if you want to run mail and you want it to be easy, then maybe you like that. Maybe if you are just running your own, your own, own domain, maybe don't care. Right. Uh, okay, so it's very much a kind of ISP ish, uh, yeah. or high level Yeah, I mean, as I said, given that's what I do for a living, then yeah, if anyone else is looking at building a mail server that's hosting more than their own domain and wants with the feature systems, then yeah. Is anyone else faced by this problem? Okay. Oh, right. So would you like to shout something out, loud bollocks? No, I'm going to say, let's hear a lot. He doesn't need it. No, I don't care about that song. Give me a brief, then I need to ask this for the thing. No, I'm going to say, the thing is about mail service is your SME market are so busy trying to work out who they are. They can register 100 domains. Mm -hmm. They turn around and say, oh, we want to receive all the emails, all these domains. And you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm going to work out me hosting. So, um, yeah, I want to know more about that particular yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Is he actually worse for living in it, see? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, why well, it's easy for me, I do exactly what you just say. I host, what, 45, 50 domains, and I have to set up a new one in 15 minutes. We need about this and that later. Okay, let's move on. Everyone's about to fucking drop off the boat. Are <laughs> oh, you moving on? Well, hang on, I thought you'd fiddle with things other than VX. Well, uh, let's face it, it ain't, it ain't getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we talk about your thumb? <laughs> Where did you get it from? You, you imported it, right? Yeah, I had to get it from America. Well, I don't know. America. You mean, right, here's the thing. The original plan was to get a thumb which had some kind of coverage. So I didn't want my fucking chocolate starfish hanging out. <laughs> but I, know, I didn't want my uh, girlfriend's name to have to wax my palm stash. <laughs> it hurts. Uh, and I could find one. And that was in the States and they wouldn't accept my credit card details. So I found another, which is the one I bought. And I tried it on uh, yesterday morning. I was like, fuck. <laughs> All right, it's a full moon today. Did anyone find uh, Adam, you know, did anyone get a bit turned up by Adam in his, in his oh, stuff? Fuck, don't, just don't. <laughs> I think you said it's no, not one person. No, <laughs> well, I find it fucking surprising, really. I mean, the worst thing is, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah like, what we'll do is, uh, I'll get Adam the thought. I said, I'll sort it out, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, and I started, you know, looking around, which was great, you know, at work. <laughs> And I'm sending you all these bits of thongs going, yeah, this one would be brilliant. And it's just like a golden star that goes on the end of your bell end. <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps sending me increasingly irate emails back saying, absolutely out of the question. <laughs> and, then, and eventually I said, fine, you pick. And he comes up with that monstrosity. <laughs> I'm impressed, I think. Do they monitor email at your place? <laughs> I said the original plan was to have some kind of coverage. I tried one yesterday. I was like, no fucking way I'm wearing this. So I, I, as, I, as I said earlier, I had to bottle it and put a pair of men's briefs underneath. Oh, right. Not good. That's fucking disgusting. They weren't ladies' briefs. I just thought it was a shit thong. <laughs> it is a shit thong. Ravel speaking. Stand up, Ravel. I have experience in the thong area. Who misses this guy? Yeah! Who is the Sparks? Yay! Where is Sparks? Not here. Chinese. I'm going to be Chinese, did you say? We'll look over that, we'll edit that bit out. <laughs> uh, so, we, are we done with this? I think we're done. Thrilling segment. Okay. <laughs> What's next on the list? Oh, God. Prepare yourself for another act rant. Oh, rant. Don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. That was brilliant. I like that. that nice one. Um, yeah, I have this thought. This the guy who pikes his axe off you. Look at me. This is actually quite a good idea, by the way. I, yeah. We talked about this earlier. It's actually quite a good idea. Yeah. Like, the idea, and I don't, I've got no idea whether this would work, but I believe Des is still in the building. Nice, Des. <laughs> This is where you give us some legal advice for free, on camera. So, <laughs> this is where he explodes. <laughs> the idea is this, right? We've got um, 
at the moment there's loads of stuff that you can't redistribute because software paints screw it all up, right? Uh, so I can't have it be 3D coding on my on my laptop by default, and I can't have it play loads of video formats and uh, all this kind of thing. But I don't give a shit about that because I live in the UK and software patents aren't valid. So at the moment, basically the US define the way the, software, the free software market works, and everyone kind of goes, well, you know, we can't do anything because the US. Uh, we, we want to be able to redistribute into America, and we want to be able to redistribute into America because that's where all the customers are and stuff like that. So the idea is, why don't we just say, screw the US? Why not just ostracise the way we used to ostracise South Africa? We just say, we, we don't. We, we say, fine, ring fence the US. We can all redistribute all this stuff. If the Yanks have a problem with that, they can set up their own. Thing. So instead of having non-US, which is allowed but dodgy, we make everything non-US, and then they have US. They can go to all the effort of stripping MP3 playing out, rather than us going to the MP3. Hell yeah! 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 You enjoyed that, didn't you? I did enjoy that. <laughs> There are two questions here. First of all, I've got no idea whether this is actually legally workable. <laughs> if only there was a lawyer in the house. If only there was a lawyer around. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Des. Microphone. Des, we've got a comment. Grab the mic. Thanks for the warning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, have you started the clock yet? <laughs> <laughs> this is great, no. Um, well, when I, when I was doing my talk this morning, I actually thought, do I need to think about the US side? Because I'm not a US lawyer. I just spoke about the UK side. And when you don't have to think about patents at all, yeah. it's actually quite easy because as long as you don't actively copy someone, something else, you're basically okay. Um, if you don't actually, actually copy their code, then you'll be all right. So it was a solution for my talk, you know, of yeah. the US. And actually, yes, it would make sense. The only thing is, of course, how many people in the US use software compared to... The rest of the world. <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> in business, have a computer, have access to a computer. Oh, yeah, but to be honest with you, we're not making that good penetration in business anyway. So it's not something we're going to go, oh no, if we do this, we'll screw up the millions and millions and millions of people who are using Linux on their desktop in the corporate market because there are only nine people. They all work for Peugeot. Yes, they do. The, 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 the key point, the idea there is precisely that we don't let the US define the market. And, and I wouldn't have brought this up apart from that you said in your talk this morning precisely what you just mentioned. The software papers don't apply to us. But then you'd have at the moment into two yeah, but it, it's for now. We have free software implementations of MP3 playback. Our FFmpeg is free software, we just can't be distributed it because it's patent encumbered. But it can't be patent encumbered because patents don't apply. Use what? Use what? Linux Mint. Linux what? Mint! What the hell is Mint? <laughs> That's <laughs> That's something else. It's a Oh, Mint! Oh. Right, yeah. It's <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> But what about the, all the corporates who do spend money on open source, generally US based? Does that make a difference? Welcome! <laughs> 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 Assuming what you'd have is, uh, at the moment, instead of starting with a, a base level thing in him, and then uh, basically everybody in this room adds MP3 playback and whatever, we start off with the MP3 playback and then say, okay, here is a button which you can click to remove MP3 playback from your desktop. Because there's altogether too much install this if it's legal in your jurisdiction. Of course, it's legal in everybody's jurisdiction, apart from George Bush's. <laughs> which is only a tiny, tiny jurisdiction. <laughs> And they smell. <laughs> so, speaking from the I agree. I agree. It's sort of a vaguely workable idea. Yeah, yeah. I think my, the only thing I can think that might make this awkward, I mean, we don't even know whether it's workable or not yet. Um, the two major corporate Linux distributors, distributors are in America. And are they going to put any effort into releasing a potent and convert operating system? Yes, I, I mean... I Speak, to... Malcolm Yates, into the microphone. <laughs> There's a major one that isn't based in the US. You pair of horrific coin. Who should that be? Malcolm Yates, NISV, rhymes with two. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's got a rude word, isn't it? There's a, uh, there's a thing of me bobbing it. No. <laughs> 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 oh, I have no idea. Hey, I'm Did everyone know that Ubuntu is fucking Russian? <laughs> so we've got some t shirts that says, Do you Ubuntu? <laughs> <laughs> and then it says, Niet. <laughs> It's just a, it is a legal nightmare. I mean, they're going to have to invest so many resources into investigating whether this is something that they can actually do. Hang on, bear with me. Since you're allowed to shill your company, can I shill mine? There's Burley, right? It's really good for me. <laughs> there are legal people who can help with this. Yes, they'll have to invest a bit. I know, but it's freaking expensive, isn't it? Maybe we should but, have but how much money? share more are you going to get when you can say here's a bunch and it plays all of your media but the thing is as well is not only will you need to check that if it's legally doable but ultimately there may not be a you know there may not be a, a definitive answer as to whether you can do it after after all of that legal wrangling you might it might still be very very dodgy to, for a company to make take that kind of risk maybe we need a coalition like united linux <laughs> Surely the fix has a second half, right? The US has a patent problem, but what it also has is a strong doctrine that source code is speech. So, we have a whole bunch of interpreted languages where the source code is the code. So, if we, we have pretty powerful processes now, if we implemented all of these proprietary codecs in, say, Python, then we could distribute that in the U UK because um, there's a patent problem, but in the US because we're distributing it as source code. So everyone can have the same distribution, and there wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> it sounds convincing to me, but we should join that. Not a lawyer in any way. <laughs> anyone else? Any, any other thoughts? Do you think it'd work? <coughs> Is it doable? Does anyone from a distro want to offer their comments? Because we've got people here from Novell and people from and Red. Are you going to create a Linux and distribute it everywhere apart from the US? Ginger thing. Can you imagine? <laughs> I thought of a possible fix for this. Um, you know when you first go into uh, installing a distribution on your machine, you are asked what country you are in yeah. in order to identify the keyboard yes. that you're using and the language you're using. Why can't we then use that to identify whether you whether you have code as part of the the Great, but it still doesn't speak. I mean, that's yeah, that's all the issue of determining which country you're in, but it still doesn't solve the underlying problem of. It's a legal minefield. I have a, yeah, sorry, it, I think that's a fantastic idea, but I think the problem with that is by putting on the CD is redis redistribution. Uh, that's yeah, but you can just link it so that they can download it. Yeah, you have to download yeah. those packages down Hey, we've solved all of the world's problems. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> Project Any other works. comments from anybody? Anything else? Where are the distro people, incidentally? Where's, where's the body? Oh, yeah, the Here's a chat down here. You can see Google do Google Linux also, which I predicted 18 months ago and hasn't yet come to pass. <laughs> so if you go to the MPEG LA, the Licensing Authority for MPEG website, and they have a list of, on their website, patents that uh, they control. And what, a lot of them are in the UK, are in France, or in Germany. So the patents do apply here, according to them. There's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the yeah. of the legal stuff. You, you, you can have patents for software in the in the EU. It's just much more restricted. So there aren't so many, so it's easy to work out which ones you've got. Whereas in the US, there are many, 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 many more. But people have already got them. We've lost. They're not invalid. Not yet. Nah, they might be challenged. <laughs> if they're there, they're there. Unless someone challenges them because there's some prior, someone's done it before, some prior art, or some other reason they should be invalidated. But if they're there, they're there. Right, okay, so it might not work. 
but, but you always have a problem distributing something or selling something in the whole world. It's just the US tend to sue more, and there are more people, they consume more. If you're selling something over the internet, not software, you still have to think about those countries and what regulatory things might apply. And you don't think, aha, what's the, the law in Romania before you sell them, I don't know, a propelling pencil or something. You just sort of sell it, don't you? I and think you're all right. And then it's their problem to deal with any legal ramifications. Yeah. Any other comments? You, Jappy. Hello. Um, if you made your UK letters with all your MP3 codex and stuff, and someone from the States downloaded it, then would it be your fault? And would, could someone sue you because someone in the States downloaded it? <laughs> as far as I can tell, now that's like saying if I sold a knife and someone bought it and stabbed the guy, is it my fault? But you're making it available for anyone in the world to download. Knives don't kill people, that kills people. You can download everywhere. There's some French being as bad as on this side. Bruno, shout into his beautiful microphone. The idea of this comment is not valid because you can still download the program from the internet, from everywhere. The, 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 the repositories are available worldwide. This is the internet. You know, this is worldwide. There is no firewall, like in China, for example, in, in the United States. So even if it's not redistributed on a CD, it's still available. You can still activate multiverse or universe repositories in your Ubuntu, and you can download the programs. Even if it's illegal in your country, you can do it. Just don't have to get caught. <laughs> That's the best policy for setting up a distribution. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Are we done? I think we're right. done. Uh, are we? Interesting idea, though. Linux. Yeah, I'd, I'd No, that's not an interesting idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible idea. Well, no, no, it's we just that every single day. Mr. Ben made a really good point. If you did really do this and you based it on Ubuntu, it'd be like you come to. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> did you buy a fight? <laughs> right! No prizes for you. Time to, uh... <laughs> it flutters me every time. Because uh, it wouldn't have voted tomorrow. Should we give some shit away? Yes, we should give oh, some yeah. shit away. Kevin always likes that. Do you want some shit? <laughs> Or do you want some prizes? <laughs> <laughs> Busted. I'll be five minutes. <laughs> That'll be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> this community here around me is a turd in the chart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give some stuff away. All right. Should um, we, we've already written three things down. Do that one first. Are we giving away this oily gong thing? <laughs> I can't read your, your five-year-old's writing. <laughs> Was it? Uh, good thing I didn't write it then, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, so let's get them all to come on. Yeah, let's start. Right, okay. First of all, we'd like the crew to come down the front, please. Everyone. All, all of you crew people in your violent yellow t shirts. seven this morning. Now look at this bunch of people. <laughs> Would you expect them to be here at half past seven in the morning? Yeah, but pretty much all of them came here at half past seven this morning and worked their asses off. And the, I think the most, thing we're most proud of this year about the Radio Live is what these guys have done. So, uh, we'd like to reward them by going to the O'Reilly uh, the O'Reilly thingy over there where Josette is and just take any book you want. And One book each. everybody. One Give them a round of applause. So, so, to be honest with you, since we're giving away books for free, you'll probably do a copy or two of Linux desktop hacks at this point. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you're only allowed to pick that book. <laughs> right, next prize is the furthest travelled person. 
I first did travel to Belfast to Lug Radio Live. Can we do this in stages? No. Nah, so did, did anyone come um, from Belfast? Stand, stand up. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Yes, this is a good one. Oh, yes. Right. Sit down if you came from Birmingham or close. <laughs> <laughs> They're thinking, shit, there's the 800 out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it furthest travelled in a straight line. You can't go, I drove round and round, round and round the M6. And I'm all up to Ring Road. <laughs> okay, sit down if you came from London or closer. Same. Ooh, that's going to kill a few of them, right? We're all already sitting down. All right, just sit really? down. Where's further away than London? Well, I'd say, I'd say, uh, you know, outside the UK. Cool. Yeah, the furthest reaches of England. Okay. Yeah, sit down. Sit. Yeah, sit down if you came right, further away than closer than England. <laughs> right, yeah, sit, outside the UK. Yeah. yeah, sit down if you came from inside the UK. So stay standing up if you're an international traveller. Oh. Okay. Right, Irish people also sit down. You are not the furthest. <laughs> Bruno, I don't know why you're clapping off. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down if you came from inside Europe. Ooh. Ooh. Here it is. Like this, but you now, now we'll just ask people. Um, I think, no, if you're going to ask people, it's man, I should have. You, with a blue, lucky blue t shirt on. <laughs> It's a t-shirt, it's a jersey. Jersey, sorry. Thank you come from where? Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> wow. wow. Holy shit, man. Where? Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. okay, Google Maps, people. How far away is Cape Town? 12 hours flight. Holy shit. Well, it's 12 hours flight. flight. Okay, next. Right, okay, next. I was going to let you know. Hello. Hello. Ottawa, Canada. Seven hour flight. Seven hour flight. Ooh. Light, light, light. Ooh. <laughs> Well 
Okay, people. Um, uh, thanks to the Memo Project, by the way, for the uh, innate hindrance. Absolutely. Thanks to my aunt for travelling all the way from Stourbridge. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate for you two that one of you is going to get mugged by me. Like, <laughs> It's nice to know that your $5,000 plane ticket managed to get you a hundred pounds internet tablet. It's all good. It's nice to know he actually lives in Stoke-on-Trent. I mean, where's my Cape Town? That's a good one. Cape Town. No, well done, people. You've come a very long way to Love Radio Live. We're very pleased. Thank you very much. Amazing. Right, should we do the next one? Next prize. This is an important one. It is. Not that that wasn't important. The 12 hours of travelling. <laughs> Deputy community manager. Deputy community <laughs> Are you recruiting? No, we're all right. You're right. I just occurred to me because Jono said community. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late now, isn't it? I'm quite pleased this is none of my problem. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Fine. Uh, deputy community hero. We have in the look. We've got an incredible community in the Look Radio world, and we've got forums and IRC channel and all kinds of stuff. The ninjas do a great job. Round of applause for the ninjas, please. <laughs> We've also got a podcast about Lug Radio called Hash Lug Radio, and they bitch and moan the fact that we never mention it, so we've mentioned it in front of all these people. You are right! Yeah! <laughs> so give these, give these guys uh, another round of applause for Hash Lug Radio. Now, now they can mention that Lug Radio, they might not bitch and moan so much. You are LR! <laughs> no, it's L R L. So, um... Point and what? <laughs> 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 Sorry, carry on. Uh, we have this concept of the community hero, and for someone who's not quite as good, we have the deputy community hero. <laughs> and the deputy community hero, these are people who just do an awful lot of stuff for the Look Radio community, um, so these people are, are very are very well deserving of the, of, of the prize. Now we're going to give them uh, an, an Nokia 800, an N800, and what else? What? I can't remember what more than we've given here, right? It looks away. Have we? To the crew! Oh, you have more than one. I'll tell you what, right? Yeah. <laughs> one can get one Nokia N800, the other can get two. We don't have enough. <laughs> what the hell good is two Nokia N800? <laughs> oh, look, all that shit that Remnant tried to demonstrate but didn't work. <laughs> 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 Seriously, on about giving two away to one person. No, we can't even give two away one each. Just we mind, only mind yourself for a minute. Bear with me. Emergency meeting. No, we've got another one. For Ken Fallon. One for Ken Fallon's heart. Yes. Is it oh, in so your left? Yes. So we can give these two away. Yes. Well, I get it now. So. Thank you. <laughs> right. No, moving on. <laughs> okay. So right. Unpause the recording. <laughs> Deputy community hero is going to get a Nokia 800. N800, okay? This person has done an incredible amount for the radio, an incredible amount for the radio life. <laughs> How yeah. do we describe this individual? <laughs> he's in not, a nice way. He's not French. He's not French. I, I describe him as someone who shouts out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not giving it. Can we change our mind? Dave Marley! Deputy, uh, deputy community hero, right, Dave Marley. Yeah. 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 Activities. Dave has, in conjunction with Chris Proctor, who's around somewhere down, down there on the floor, the two of those have run the crew for us, which basically means we've spent the last six months going, okay, this is going to be a problem. You two sort it out, and they've sorted it out. Fantastic. <laughs> which is why two or three people have said to me, this year's like Radio Live is a lot more professional than last year's, and that's because they did it all, and we yeah. didn't do it. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is... I couldn't fit the trophy in because there was too many Scotch eggs in the boots. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I thought you couldn't fit the trophy in because Nero was in the car. <laughs> uh -oh. He's looking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're blocking the camera, dude. I'll just leave the building, Listen, right? You are one to talk, my friend. <laughs> Right, so the community here this year will win a Nokia N800. And something else. And a hazmat suit. 
And we have donated by the, uh, the Defective by Design project one of the hazmat suits that was actually used in the big Defective by Design protest at Winhead. So it's second hand? So it's second hand, yeah. <laughs> and it hasn't been washed. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt Lee was wearing it. <laughs> Okay, we've just decided again. See how prepared we are. Isn't it? <laughs> They're going to get the picture as well that we showed earlier on, which I think is worthy of uh, community here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, now we. <laughs> about the Community Hero Award. Uh, the first year, Mr. Ben won it, uh, then uh, Zali won it, and we had a rule that um, we don't have people winning again two years in a row. Uh, well, winning again full stop. We just, yeah. They only get the, the privileged role once, but we've decided to provoke the rule this time. Because Ooh, this person... It down? It narrows it down. This person's <laughs> done an incredible amount of work for Look Radio and Look Radio Live. Has anyone got a coin? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that he pretends to be Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Mr. Ben, Ben Fools, oh, get it! Once again, Now, delicious smelling Consolation prize that Matt Lee's been wearing that suit all day. And, and the picture, 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 Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I don't like where. Uh, stand up, chairs, so everyone can see you. I don't like where this is going. You're fucking white. And, John, stand up. Stand up, stand up, 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 up. Right. <laughs> Mr. Ben, John and Matt's illegitimate love child. <laughs> Close. <laughs> you want the accuracy. 
<laughs> you might want to cover the camera. Mark could be tall. <laughs> On the other hand, that shot in the video is going to look great. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the radio by Jerry Brookheimer. <laughs> Is it? We can see. I think it is. <laughs> right, anyone who hasn't got a prize, tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make some announcements? Yes, we have two announcements to make. We have good news and bad news. Uh, more good news. <laughs> good news? <laughs> Come on, this is like pantomime. Good news. Have a good news reaction. Hey! Bad news! Bad news! Alright, let's try that again. News, news! Hey! Bad news! Ooh. Ready? Good news! Hey! 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 Dogs, puppets. <laughs> There's <Dance>, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, so um, um, yes. Should we do the um, should we do the bad news? The bad news first. Yeah. So who wants to announce it? Who wants to announce it? Come on. Uh, yeah. It might be. It might, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charles Fields, Eddie. Charles, you did that. Charles changing his name for charity. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes. He's changing it to Jonathan James Edward Bacon. <laughs> Thank you again. Okay, hey, would you like to announce your bad news? Indeed. So, as of today, I'm stepping down from Lug Radio to make way for uh, another presenter who's got more time. So that's the bad news. What's the good news? No, 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 hang on, Mike. Would you like Abe to go? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty ambiguous response there, to be honest. You can try it, but no, 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 guys <laughs> no, but yes, Aid uh, is leaving to spend more time with his proprietary VoIP software system. Aid <laughs> <laughs> and Rosie Palm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> See you later, don't let that door shut the way out. <laughs> Next. But yeah, no, Aid's going. It is, it is sad, because Aid brings a lot to the show. And then takes it back away. <laughs> <laughs> he brought a lot to the show, he turned up when Mac was shot. <laughs> I think, I think that's not fair. I personally would like to say that I'm very sad to see Aiden go mm-hmm. because I think he's been a very valuable part of the show, a very important part of the show, a very valuable part of the show. Yeah. And we did try and talk him out of it, but he was adamant. Adamant. <laughs> yeah, that's right, he was adamant. I've seen, I've seen pictures of you dressed as adamant, by the way. You have seen pictures of you dressed as adamant. Makeup and everything. I'll tell you what, I was fucking was gorgeous. <laughs> no, he wasn't. But under the back of my retina. <laughs> Don't you ever pick your nose and wipe it on your trousers. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Stand and deliver. Or the other one. Do you know what knows the words of that song? <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about So yes, age leaving. Yes. I um, Maybe everyone feels like we ought to give them a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for your years of service. And yeah, no, it's all forgotten. Should we, should we announce some new presenters? We've got a new uh, presenter. Yeah, attention. Because what, what we did was, right, put the position on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on holiday tomorrow. <laughs> £2.50 between the three of us. <laughs> so, um, is the new presenter... See Ravel. the new presenter in the room. It's Matt Ravel. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him? Is he here? Is he fucked up? <laughs> Point to him, Molly. <laughs> he ruins the surprise. But this is the new presenter. Step, Step forward. forward, Chris Proctor. Chris is the new Proctor. <laughs> 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 so, we will 
Excuse me, uh, come on there, guys. Well, I, I was under the impression we were official media partners, but I was told the other day that maybe we are an official media partner. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently we're yeah, really? official media partners. So we kind of unofficial. We just blacked our way in for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will be covering Guardag, and Chris will be part of the show at that point. So, yeah, welcome, Chris. Welcome to Chris the Project. Project. I'll tell you what I don't understand is, he's been on the show once, right? Yeah. And he's still agreed to be a presenter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Last Crazy. <laughs> Chris was like the 15th person we asked. <laughs> <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, let's talk about our uh, rather exciting good news. Oh yeah, there is some good news. This is good news that uh, was confirmed last week, in fact. Uh, it was confirmed this week. It was this week, wasn't it? It was. It was we thought it was never going to happen, really. Yeah. Well, um, so is, is it safe to say you guys have enjoyed the first day of Look Radio Live? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 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 We'd, we'd like... Do you want to say it? Well, I'd like to ask a question first. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any Americans in the room? <laughs> <laughs> stand, stand up American people again. I'll tell you what, stand up North Americans generally. Yeah, stand up North Americans. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you think you'd be didn't have to fly quite as fast to like Radio Live next year. Yeah? Aaron's like, I don't care. Guess what? <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it turns out that Live Radio Live is coming to the US in 2008, yeah. and it's going to be in California, IA. So, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So many of you are the furthest travelled. <laughs> Fear not, British people will also be having Look Radio Live in the UK as yeah. well. Hooray! Hooray! And March 2008 will be Look Radio Live US in California, as said. And Look Radio Live 2008, the normal one, will be yeah. about this time next year. And there's a certain amount of generosity coming to us from a certain organisation. Um, for the greater life in the US, right? Oh, right, yes. Can we say who it is? Yeah, we all do. Well, this man works for the organisation. <laughs> Google are going to be helping us out an awful lot with the greater life in the US. I mean, we, we haven't got a domain name and stuff set up, but if you wait a few weeks and then go to Yahoo and search for Lug Radio US, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Incredibly <laughs> funny. Chris walked in the door, straight off the plane. The first thing he saw was Adam Sweet's bare backside. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I actually noticed that. I thought I was heard about it. Standing on the stage there while someone was talking, I was thinking, shit, that's Chris Bono. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who's monstering the radio live. All the live dates from through Google. It's like, shit. It's gonna be it's gonna be very cool. We've got loads of stuff planned for Look Radio Live in the US. I mean it's gonna be it's probably gonna be around Mountain View, which is near San Francisco. So if you want to go to LRL US, and I know there's a bunch of people in the UK who want to go over there, you'll be able to go on holiday to San Francisco as well, go to Alcatraz and that kind of stuff. Absolutely, bear in mind that some Americans have come here, so all of you lot presumably will be flying there, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and you can all stay at their house, right? <laughs> There's a quality in, in there. <laughs> so, um... How can we do with the swearing? I mean, what? What can we do with, with your swearing in the US? With, like, they better just get fucking used to it. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna get a special huge erect penis for the stage. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to get bigger, than, get more uh, extravagant than this year, isn't it? I'm not gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, was that actually 
national hair. And he grew your hair, he grew the beards, yeah. Oh my god. Are you married? <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine my surprise. <laughs> Right, this, is, this is Roger Lloyd here, also known as Ujo, and he did uh, a spoof on the Freedom March. Freedom March. Freedom March. Um, That's the crappy, boring, pretentious one that John I thought of. <laughs> what, what's the URL? It's a Linkpot URL. Yeah, Linkpot. Linkpot. Slash beard. Really funny. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think we're done for another year. So we're going to be kicking you lot out yes. pretty much immediately. So go down to Disgusting Kebab Alley down there <laughs> and eat the contents of an elephant's leg. And, uh, and then come back here for about 8 o'clock and we're going to be having a party over party. there in party. Amici May. Party over there, we've got that bar. And we're going to have a great time. Uh, crew people, you stay here. <laughs> Bring this with you, because uh, that might yeah. be kind of possible security. So we'll see you again. Yeah. And more of the same tomorrow, of course. Yes, absolutely. Bring, you. Bring your hamburgers with you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so who's coming out tonight? Who's coming out for party tonight? Oh. Very awkward. Very good. Lisa! <laughs> Adam, you're wearing your thumb later. No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, if I get really pissed, I might <laughs> Yes. Uh, you want to see the thumb again, right? Who wants to? Impressed person in the room at the moment. He's not doing it again! <laughs> right, I'm bored of ourselves. Yes, <laughs> I'm bored of ourselves. Thanks, thanks everyone. Come back. Thank you. And if we don't see you tonight,